Funding for New Mexico in Focus provided by the McCune Charitable Foundation. And the Dnieper Natural History Programming Fund for KNME-TV. And viewers like you. This week on New Mexico in Focus, a candid conversation about youth violence and the people trying to stop it. I had to really figure out who I wanted to be, and, and um, I, had a, I had a chance, and that's the thing that many youth don't have. They don't have a chance. That's right. That's I mean, right. They don't have an opportunity. No one gives them that. And as a federal decision looms, an update on the battle over water in the Gila River. New Mexico in Focus starts now. Thanks for joining us this week. I'm your host, Gene Grant. In August, we took you to a spot few TV crews have had the time to get to, the Gila River in southwestern New Mexico. There's a battle there over plans to divert water from the river for agricultural use. We'll revisit that trip this week and update you on the latest. We also take a tough look at youth violence in Albuquerque with filmmaker John Acosta and a group of young activists who say policymakers need to listen and try a different approach. We begin with Thomas Sines. He's the national president of the Mexican-American Legal Defense and Educational Fund and has been a key figure in the martinez Yazi versus the state of New Mexico lawsuit. That's the case that is forcing the state to improve the education it provides for certain groups of students. And recently, both groups of plaintiffs asked the court to set more strict deadlines for the state to prove it's making progress. Correspondent Russell Contreras spoke with Mr. Sines about what's ahead in the case. <laughs> 